Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. As usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. While the road to middleweight Golden Glory still goes through Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles, you'll be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, he's one of the most dangerous men man in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background, was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's the world and Olympic silver medalist, was able to knock out Jacare Souza. Just a truly tremendous mixed martial artist, and since going up to 185, has truly found his groove. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says, the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed. UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. And there's Herb Dean. Great he fight. will handle the action Great. inside the octagon. All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena. Not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few no championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Devastating uppercut. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Oh, great striking from Robert Whitaker, as usual. This man put some serious pressure on you. And when you can beat Yoel Romero the way he did, he is not going to be intimidated by any other 185-pounder in the world. Just misses with the straight left hand. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Lee. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Back and forth we go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Whitaker gets caught by that straight punch there. He's got to start moving his head. Cannot take this many shots to the head. Oh, rips the body shot there. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, nice kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Just over two minutes to go. Beat him to the punch. Beat first. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Swing and a miss by Whitaker. Nice shot there by the champ. Trying to set up that counterattack. Whitaker gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Leg kick. Big shot to the body. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Effective use of the jab there by Robert Whittaker. 45 seconds remain in the round. Able to land there with the straight left. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. 30 seconds to go in the round. Back and forth we go. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Whitaker's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, All right so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now, the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there, should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Whitaker. Good 
jab there by the champion. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. Nice kick there by Robert Whittaker. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Misses with the straight right. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Whitaker's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. Beautiful kick lands there. Whitaker's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Lands the low kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice kick. Well, we've got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do... Oh! Under two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, as good a counter-striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. He couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. He's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Back to the left hand now. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Get, get. Nice kick, yep. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Lands a good series of kicks here. Nice punch to the head. 20 seconds to go round two. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fall and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over. Certainly stunned his opponent in that round. We'll see if he can follow up here after 60 seconds. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of finding the shot that really did affect the equilibrium of his opponent. Now he needs to go back and find the attack that's going to shut the lights off. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts Ready. to go down into the mouth. Ready. He's got an uphill battle ahead. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight.
Fighter lands a jab. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Push kick there to the body. Sides in that exchange. Swing and a miss by Robert Whittaker. Stay on that cut for me. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. I want to see those takedowns. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. There it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later on? Well, I think, it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Lee gets lit up by that uppercut. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect something as we go forward. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. Work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Heavy kick downstairs. I want you to make that cut now. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Whitaker's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice punch by Whitaker. Circling to his right. Oh, he kicked him in the head. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Under 90 seconds to go. Beautiful punch lands. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where He's going to start to get desperate. He's going to start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. We heard him again. Oh. oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. He's got to be careful here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. Oh, his ground and pound is on like full that. display here tonight. Oh, the fight's over. Oh. Oh. Holy smokes. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the Octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest.
at four minutes, 26 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? 